Hey guys, I'm Ben Gormley. I'm on worship staff here at New Life, and I'm going to be sharing the devotional for us today. The verse is Hebrews 8, 12, and it says, I will forgive their sins and will no longer remember their wrongs. Um, so before we dive into this promise from God, I wanted to give us some context to the verse. So the writer of Hebrews is talking about um, the new covenant and contrasting it with the old covenant in the Old Testament. And in the Old Testament, um, God required the blood of animals to cover the people's sin. It was a requirement for his justice that the blood of animals would be shed to cover the people's sin. But in the, in the New Testament, the writer says that Jesus' blood has covered our sin fully. And he says it's once and for all. So that means past, present, and future, all of our sins are covered by the blood of Jesus. And he's just it's kind of like this wonder that um, that he's writing with, like, this this. Um, this sacrifice of Jesus is, is so amazing because now God writes his law on our hearts and our minds. So we get to live in this new way of the spirit. And it's no longer this kind of slavish um, obedience out of fear that, oh man, if I mess up, God's going to, he's going to smite me, you know. Um, but it's, we can really obey out of this trust in God, that God is a loving father, that he wants our best and that, um, that he wants to give us good things. Um, and it reminds me of this quote that C.S. Lewis um, said one time. That he's talking about how our desires are often too, um, too small. Like we, we, we're content with sinful things, ambition, sex, drugs, whatever. And, and when we could have this feast of God's presence. And he says it's kind of like a kid playing with mud pies in the slum when he could have this holiday at the beach. And I just love that. Um, let's just go back to the promise. I will forgive their sins and will no longer remember their wrongs. I mean... I know that makes me thankful for God's uh, grace and his forgiveness. And to bring it home, uh, it makes me think of when I disciplined Phoenix. Um, and, you know, like I have to discipline him because I'm not going to let him do something that's wrong and just keep getting away with it because that would be destructive for him. So out of love, I discipline him. Um, but then after that discipline moment is over, I'm like, Phoenix, ask forgiveness of Daddy now. Reconcile the relationship. Ask forgiveness of God. And, you know, sometimes he's, he's reticent to do it. He's like, fearful. He's like, oh, daddy, I'm scared. You know, I try to just encourage him. Phoenix, Phoenix, if you ask for forgiveness, I'm going to throw you up in the air 10 times. And then I'll see kind of like this little light on his face and be like, 20 times? And I'm like, I'll throw you up in the air 20 times, you know? And, and then he's like, okay, you know, that he asked forgiveness. I'm like, all right, I just throw him up in the air, you know? And now not, it doesn't always work that way. Sometimes he's mad at me afterward, but sometimes that works. Um, but I think about that, you know, I'm a fallible dad, you know, I'm, 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 I make mistakes, I messed up, but how much more does our Father love us and want us to ask forgiveness and, and live right and live in His in His blessing? You know, not be content to make mud pies and with our sinful desires, but to really come to His presence and enjoy His presence. So I um, just want to encourage us with that today in our application. Let's just ask God, God, what desires in me are, are too small? What, are, what, what am I still holding on to that's sinful? God, show me that. And then let's just trust that verse that when we ask forgiveness, we'll ask forgiveness, you know, bring those to him. That he's going to forgive us our sins and he will no longer remember them. He'll wipe our slates clean. Amen.